Hey, 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 how are you doing? Happy Friday. Oh my goodness, you guys. So it is it is April, March ended, and this is our first Friday of the month. And so that's amazing. So hopefully you are doing a little bit of a, we made it to Friday dance because I think that we should have a little fun, even if uh, you may be staying at home and you may be, you know, off your normal routine, it is still Friday and it's still a time to celebrate what you've done this week. And so take some time to celebrate what you've done. Uh, I wanted to talk about boosting your metabolism because right now we're at home. It is very, very easy for us to, you know, sit on the couch all day, uh, maybe eat a bag of chips, you know, and eat a sleeve of cookies and things like that. And this is the time where you can't forget that your health matters. What choices you make today are going to impact you in a month. And so I want to give you a call to rise up and take care of yourself. Self-care uh, starts with taking care of yourself. Um, also, it's so important right now to be on your best health, you know, eating healthy, taking care of yourself, taking your vitamins, because that is how you um, can boost your immunity and different things like that. But I'm going to talk about something that's a little bit more about how we can avoid um, gaining 15 pounds while we're in quarantine. And one of those ways is to boost our metabolism. And it's going to be something, these tips are while you're at home. Because like today, it's rainy outside. So we're not going to be able to go on our walk that we've been going on yesterday. We, we were able to go on a hike. You know, we've been trying to get outside doing social distancing uh, practices, but going outside, obviously, if you're used to um, going to a gym, your gym is closed. So how can you boost your metabolism while you are at home? And I believe the way that you look, the way that your clothes fit is based on what you eat and what your metabolism is doing. 80% of how you your body looks is based on how you eat and the rest is your activity. So if you're not able to be as active, you know, going to spin classes, you know, weightlifting at the gym, if you're not able to do that, then you really need to focus on what you're putting in your mouth. It's even more important, but it's so important for your health. And there's several people who I've talked to that they're like, oh, I, you know, I out, um, I outwork a bad diet. And so they go to the gym and they work out and everything because they don't want to watch which, what they eat. Um, but your health is so important and what you eat really, really, really is the foundation of your health. And so that's something that I am passionate about is making sure that you're taking care of your health, but there's also some, uh, what, um, reasons, you know, that I want to look good in the summer and the summer's not that far away. And so what you're doing right now is once, cause this is not going to last forever and we are going to be able to go on, you know, vacations again. And you want to have confidence that you look good. You feel your best, even whenever you're able to travel again. And so I want to make sure that you're doing what you can now while you're at home. So now the first thing I want to talk about is hopefully this is going to work, is that I want you to drink more water. I want, I don't know why this isn't working. Okay. Well, the first thing I want you to do is to drink more water. You're at home and maybe, you know, you're reaching, I, I give up Coke and diet Coke over like 13 years ago. I did it cold Turkey because I, um, I was reading about how bad those are for us, you know, all the artificial um, sweeteners and everything. And so I quit. I quit cold turkey. So I don't drink Coke uh, or Diet Coke. I was addicted to Diet Coke and I gave it up. Um, but then it was hard. You know, at that point, I went strictly to just water. It was almost like I was just like, I just can't I don't want to touch anything else because um, of what's in it, you know. And so now I definitely drink other drinks that are not water, but are good for me. But I want to let you know, 
your body functions best if you are hydrated. Your metabolism functions best if you're hydrated, if you're not drinking enough water. And I think the statistic is like 70% of us are dehydrated. If you're not drinking enough water, you may not even realize that you're dehydrated. And this is causing your metabolism to be slower. It may be causing headaches. It may be causing you to feel sluggish. It may be causing your energy levels to be low because you're not able to perform at your best when you're dehydrated. And so if you have not been tracking your water, that's probably the first thing I would do. You're at home. You know, why not start a new habit? And the easiest thing, you have no excuse. Your your water bottle is not going anywhere because you're not going anywhere. So get a water bottle. One of my friends, um, she was sharing her water bottle and she was, you know, marking, you know, this is how much she's going to drink it every day. Um, I have one that has like a little tracker on the top so that I can make sure that I know how much water I'm drinking every day, but track how much water you're drinking. And so that way, if, if you're, you know, sitting on the couch, you're still boosting your metabolism because you're drinking your water. And that is so, so, so important. So make sure that you're drinking your water. The other thing is is take an inventory track what you're eating you know several people have been saying you know that they're um you know they're they're already feeling you know they maybe they've been in quarantine or self quarantine or staying at home for you know two weeks and now we're going to be in our homes for another four weeks and so it's just like wow i really need to get a rein on what i'm eating because i've been stress eating i've been raiding the pantry um but my pants are already getting tight my leggings <laughs> my pajamas <laughs> whatever you're wearing are already getting tight and so how can i um boost my metabolism with what i'm eating so there are some thermogenic foods. If you want a source of 40 different thermogenic foods, comment with the word source. Um, and I will send you this uh, link that has 40 different um, thermogenic foods. But I'll tell you um, some of the main thermogenic foods that I would focus on is eating more healthy fat. And I would start your morning with healthy fat and protein. So like this morning, I started with um, eggs. It was actually more like a brunch um, because I drank my coffee first and then I waited until I was hungry and it was more like noon before I ate. Um, so if you're doing intermittent fasting, that's what I'm doing. Um, but I start with something that has healthy fats coconut oil, the eggs, um, and then I add a little bit of cheese and that has some extra ha uh, fat in it as well. Um, but what that's going to do is that's going to help fuel your body to burn more fat. And so um, your body has to process fats a little differently than other foods and it actually boosts your metabolism. And so start your morning with healthy fats and protein. And so both of those are going to help you boost your metabolism. And, and then, like I said, if you want 40 other foods that help you boost your metabolism, say the word source, and I'll send you that blog post that has 40 different foods that are thermogenic that can help you boost your metabolism naturally. So I talked about water. I talked about eating, what you're eating is so important. The other thing is 30 minutes of activity. Now it's easy. It's easy to do activity when we're going on our morning walks, you know, because, or actually it's afternoon walks. When we're going on our walks, we're walking for 30 minutes, 40, I don't even know. I don't, I, I get my 10,000 steps. So I don't even know how long we're actually on the trails, but it's probably more like an hour that we're going out when, the, when it's sunny it, today, it is overcast. I don't know how it is in your neck of the woods, but um, tell me how the weather is where you are. But today we're not going to be able to go on our walk. And that's kind of sad because that's part of my mental health. It's just like, oh gosh, I need to get outside, get some fresh air. But today that's not going to happen. So how can I get 30 minutes of activity, you know, at home? And so um, if you're like me, I'm kind of like, I'm an active person person and I like to move. Um, so sometimes I, I literally will just walk circles um, in my house, inside my house. That's how crazy I am. Listening to podcasts or something like that. Listening to an audio book. So that's me up on my feet, walking around. And you can do this broken up you know, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes is the same benefit as 30 minutes 
total. And so that's something that you could do. Another thing that me and Adolin were doing, we have stairs in our house. And so we were going up and down our stairs for like five minutes, 10 minutes. You know, these are just some things that if you don't want, I don't like working out at home. I don't like, um, I don't like doing like workout videos and stuff. I like moving and I really like going on hikes and walks outside. Like that's what I really love. I get excited about that. But whenever I can't do that, what can I do at home? And so these are just movement. This is just move your body for 30 minutes. Like I said, break it up 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, you can set a timer on your watch or um, on your clock on your um, phone, or you can just plug in an audio, um, an audio book or a podcast that's 10 minutes and then just move until that's done. And so it's a little bit of like a mindless kind of checkout. If it's a podcast that also helps with like personal development, which is also so needed right now. Um, and so those, that's something else you can do. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, if that helps you think of some things, then hopefully so, but just get up and move. And as you're moving, you'll feel better than just sitting and lounging around, like sitting for a long periods of time are not good for you. Um, and so think about how you can move even if you're staying at home, if you're not able to go outside, like we're not gonna be able to go outside. Um, okay, so the last two, this is number four and five, um, is to get more sleep and less stress. And these are working together because um, when your body is stressed, it goes into survival mode. And you guys, it's kind of hard right now not to feel like anxious or feel the stress just because, um, we're living in a really, a really uh, wet, stressful time, you know, and this has not happened before in our lifetime. And so we're all trying to survive, you know, and some of us are sharing humor and sharing, you know, funny memes to just help us cope with how uncertain everything is. But what I can tell you is that feeling stressed, feeling anxious, not getting enough sleep is all slowing down your metabolism and it is not good for your health. It's not good for your, your immunity. It's not good for anything. And so get it. And it's going to be different for everybody. Things that help me de-stress may make you anxious, you know, and so think about different ways that you can help, you know, if it is picking up a new devotional that you can go through the next 30 days, like a 30 day devotional that kind of is all about, you know, putting your trust in God or, or dealing with worry or dealing with stress. Like that would be amazing to do right now for the next 30 days. If you're thinking about getting more sleep, you know, maybe that's just like, okay, well, I'm going to start by getting, you know, going to bed 15 minutes earlier every single um, night instead of, um, you know, just staying up. And so just think about different ways that you can help your body manage um, the stress. And so it's different for everybody like me. I really do stress really well by going on walks, going outside, um, getting out of my house. But on days that I can't do that, you know, there's some different ways that I can just, I'm an introvert too. And so I recharge by being alone. And so that's going to be different if you're an extrovert. <laughs> if you're an extrovert, maybe, maybe hop on Zoom with a couple friends and over, you know, and y'all can all drink coffee or all have a drink, you know, and just connect online. And maybe that helps you de-stress, but think about how you can de-stress because that's going to help boost your metabolism too. If you feel good, your body feels good and it's going to boost your metabolism and stress is not good for any of us. Like I said, it's bad for our metabolism, but it's also bad for our immunity and our general health. And so make sure that you are prioritizing yourself and taking care of yourself during this time. Like I said, that none of us have ever lived through this before. And so it's very, um, it's something that you need to be aware of. Um, so I hope that these tips helped you think about different ways that you can boost your metabolism even while you're at home, even while you can't go to the gym, or maybe, you know, there's some different things that you were doing before and now it's like, oh gosh, that, you know, stopped, but how can I continue to take care of my health, maybe not lose my waistline, it's still, you know, make sure I'm taking care of myself, my health, um, while it matters most. And so hopefully this gave you some ideas. Um, I did want to let you know that right now I am running a huge special on my whole store so that you can, you know, grab a couple of products that can help you boost your metabolism, can help you with your immunity, can help you with your stress. Maybe if you want to do some beauty health, uh, 
self-care, you can do that too. Everything on my store, pretty much everything, there's like 16 products that are on sale right now. So if you want me to customize a plan for you, don't hesitate, just reach out and I would love to share some different products that can help you with whatever your goals are during this time. Um, and like I said, this is pretty much the lowest price we've ever offered because we wanna help more people look and feel their best than ever before and whenever it matters most. Um, so I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday. And like I said, take time today to celebrate that you made it. You made it to Friday, even though today might look different than some Fridays have looked in the past. Um, take some time to still celebrate what you've done this week and how, um, how you can even do even better next week and live our best life even from home.